Hi guys this is Jason here from Nathaniel in this guitar lesson we are basically going to look at five of my most favorite or most commonly used guitar strumming patterns which i have learned from various music of different genres like reggae country bluegrass rock pop in general and also a lot of my guitar player friends who i have been very happy to have come across over the years and learn a lot from them even though guitar not being my primary instrument you may see me doing a lot of piano videos on youtube Uh, i've just developed and learned some of these rhythms which you could use somewhere or the other in a gig or in a recording uh, or while singing along these rhythms are very useful for singing along while playing the guitar of course so all these strumming patterns are going to use chords and uh, just for ease of the lesson and just making things a bit easier in general we are just going to use some of the more open stringed chords like c major you know you could add some color to it but it's pretty much c major maybe some e minors in there some a minors f major maybe a g major occasionally uh e maybe e seventh so it's just going to be these chords the open stringed chords the chords which use these open notes e a d g b e right easy no barring needed in this lesson so the strumming patterns which i am going to share with you are all going to divide the beat we are never going to do a strumming pattern which goes something like 1 2 3 4 you know where it's rather boring and you don't even need to do the up strokes you just have to go down 1 2 3 4 so at the bare minimum we are going to divide the beat by 2 units or we may also divide the beat into 4 units so if you divide by 2 you're going to say 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and so the ands are the up beat or the off beat the 1 2 3 4 are the down beat so to generate it on the guitar you can just go down up down up down up down up and count 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and as you strum this is without a chord and then when you bring in a chord to the party it sounds quite nice 3 and 4 and 1 so the the down stroke and the up stroke adds a different variety there's a different texture to each stroke right versus that especially for people like me who play with fingers or even with plectrum you will get that effect of going down versus going up for example if i go only down the music starts sounding very chaotic and very forceful if you ask me but if i go down and up it starts sounding very relaxing and normal if you think about it which is anyway how your hand will move when you're playing the guitar the guitar is inefficient if you go that way you're going to probably you know slam your shoulder or your wrist or something like that so get used to the down stroke the up stroke dividing the beat the beat can be divided by 2 and you go 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and or the beat could be generally divided by 4 if you're dividing by 4 we go 1e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e and a 1e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e and a 1e and 2e and a 3e and a 4e and a 1e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e and a 1 to divide by 2 divide by 4 so get used to those strokes and you also have some of the strokes which i'll be calling as a ghost stroke or a mute a guitar mute where you essentially hold the string but you prevent any kind of sound with your fingers and also you don't want those annoying harmonics in the way right so develop a nice muted sound as well so you can combine muting with playing with normal uh fretting of the guitar you can combine that with some ghost notes for our muted notes i keep calling them ghost notes because of drums and a variety of other instruments so you go so if you take two strums 
with a chord you could follow it up with some ghosts but ultimately my strumming pattern is just going down up down up down up down up so for most of this lesson the hands are just going to go down and up it's just going to do that but depending on what you want to actually play or fret or what you want to ghost or mute or what you don't want to play or play in the journey of going up and down like you could go what did i do them the motion of my hand kept going down up down up but in some instances of going up or down i chose not to use my right hand so the right hand would or my strumming hand i'm choosing to play the on and the off beat or sometimes i don't have to play that's essentially what's going to get a pattern and for little more complicated or more interesting stuff you can start adding ghost notes by muting the left hand which is essentially holding the chord so instead of holding the actual chord you ghost it in certain instances so you develop a pattern which is built around the fact of going down stroke up stroke then going some mutes and we'll also look at a few percussion noises where you can actually use the guitar as a percussion instrument which i do from time to time so you get certain patterns and i'm going to show you five really nice ones in this lesson simple ones bring your guitars play along with me we'll just do some simple chords as well it's not going to be too tricky if you know all your open chords right so it's going to end up sounding maybe something like this combining your strokes combining your ghost patterns and so on so before we start my five favorite strumming patterns it'll be great if you can hit that subscribe button we'll be doing a lot more lessons on youtube with theory ear training piano of course technology production and of course the guitar bass like we generally do so hit that subscribe hit on the bell icon for notifications leave us a comment give the video a like that helps the youtube algorithm move forward as well let's start The first pattern is super easy it divides the beat into two units so you count it as 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 I'm doing the G major chord or why don't we take even the C major chord 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and now observe my hand the strumming hand or in this case my right hand it's going in the same motion it's going down up down up down up following the eighth note so i'm at, my motion is 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and i'm going in this motion but i'm playing what am i doing there i'm not hitting a few of the up strokes or a few of the down strokes let me show you 1 and see i i take my hand up in that natural motion 1 and 2 and 2 and has both the down and the up 1 and 2 and 3 and so i don't do the down of the 3 i just do the up of the 3 thus enabling me to play the and of the 3 and not the on so 1 2 and 3 and 4 and you can just chill out at the 4 let it ring till the end of the 4 So let me loop this pattern again and try to tell you the strokes down down up up down 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 up up down 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 up up down and try to keep a a nice pulse while you do it I have a nice kick here which you could listen to Try changing the chord a bit G back to see d minor few minors you 
let's speed it up once you gain more confidence so this is a nice tempo for country okay that's pattern number 1 let's move on to pattern number 2 So let's look at pattern number 2. Pattern number 2 continues to divide the beat by 2, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and but it introduces a few percussive slaps or some kind of muted vibe which we didn't have in the earlier one. The earlier one was pretty much just strumming and not playing here and there. This one has a few muted or a few ghost notes which I'll demonstrate right now. So let's break that down again. You have the one stop. Stop means that noise. One stop. Up, up, and you could do up, up stop. You're stopping, or you're choking, or you're playing the snare drum at the two and the four. So it goes. That's the pattern. You hear that noise or that slap which I'm getting. You can do it in any way you feel possible. It's I'm a finger player, so so I just put my entire palm or sort of punch the guitar a little bit without without breaking anything important. So you go. You just need a nice sound, and I leave the the taste of the sound or the quality of the sound to you. It's a noise at the end of the day, and you have different ways of getting that. So the pattern number two includes one stop at the two, one and two, and you're playing at the end of the three, one and stop and up, up and up at the end of the two and end of the three. Remember what I told you earlier? At the ends, we tend to do. up strokes and at the ons we tend to do down strokes so you go down up up down up up down up up very popular i think very you could say any kind of pop music you'll have this um another thing you may want to experiment is if you want to do finger style if you want to just pluck with just three strings and three fingers you know which is a standard way of doing it you can get the same rhythm right and figure out the stops as well So from time to time I sometimes like doing it with the the finger approach finger style approach or just the normal strumming approach You can add some extra ghost notes to taste if you wish The ghost notes in my book are different than the the actual percussive noise or the snare drum block sound which you get on the guitar this is pattern number 2 let's move on to the next one Right, so pattern number three, first of all, is based on a three by four time signature. Right, you need to also be able to play three by fours on a guitar or any instrument. The first two we saw were on four. This one is on three. So let me break it down for you. It's super easy. You just do start off like this: one, two, three; one, two, three; one and two and three and one and two and three. So it creates a nice waltz feel. One, two. Three, two, three. Now you're not going to play the end of the one. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, 
two, three. One, two, three. So practice first probably with a muted option in the left hand and then see how it goes later. So you go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Slow it down. Make it a bit more choppy if you like. Think. And I've put down a couple of other 3x4 rhythm patterns which is essentially based around doubling the beat for two of the three beats and then playing one hit at the remaining beat, either at the on beat or at the off beat. So you have this rhythm pattern for example. Da ba da ba da. So good practice would be first do it muted. Vocalize it a little, something like da ba da ba da, da ba da ba da, da ba da ba da. Now bring in some chords, otherwise it starts getting quite overwhelming, I think. So you go. Two, three, one, two, three. Similarly, the next rhythm was da da da, da ga da ga da, da ga da ga da. So you go. Then you could do something like. Or the last one printed there, which is Let's just revise the one we've banked on a lot more in this uh, chapter of 3 by 4 Let me go back to that You elongate the one down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So the down, down, come back up without really playing anything. So we say down, down, up, down, up, down. Some of the greatest songs written on three Iris by Goo Goo Dolls, Kiss from a Rose, Seal. Uh, some great music out there which pretty much can be played using this pattern, I think. If you want to take it to the more country space, you could probably do the same pattern but swing it a little and maybe slightly slower. So, that swing versus straight. Swing. Straight, swing, and so on. So you could swing it, you could straighten it. You have a lot of patterns which I have put out for you for three, four. Practice them well. Let's move on to the next strumming pattern. Right, so the fourth pattern is like an Americana, bluegrass kind of rhythm inspired, I would think, from Mumford and Sons, listening to a lot of their music. So it kind of goes... Two downs, down, 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 up, down. So where did I do the downs? I did one, two, and four, and. So I do one, two, three, and four, and. At the end of the three, at the end of pretty much all the beats, you need to do an upstroke as opposed to a downstroke. So we go. Now you could practice this particular rhythm either in the eighth note framework, which is. 
one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and 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 one and two and three and four and one and two or you could go all mumford on the rhythm and go 16th notes and pretty much do the same pattern with 16th notes so it goes may even know this song by Mumford and Sons right uh, well you can do it for a lot of country music if you just want a very like four on the floor sound three four like dun, dun. so let's break down the rhythm again down down up down up down down up down up so that's 1 2 3 and 4 and 1 2 and 4 and 1 2 3 and 4 and go on so practice at normal speed and practice at double speed i really like this rhythm try it out and we have one more to go in this video let's move on right the last pattern of this video i thought we'll just put things together put all the th- ingredients in one nice rhythm pattern which again i think is very popular so i'll play you the pattern once and then break it down you can always go through the guide in uh, always mentioned in the visuals where we go down stroke down arrow up stroke x for mutes and so on and so forth uh, so it goes so what did i do that down up whack do the percussion thing at 2 down up whack and then end of the 2 hold it on till the end of the 3 and then stop at the 4 just like we mentioned in a, in another rhythm this is very similar where we stop or where we do the muted sound at the 2 and the 4 so you 1 and stop and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 2 and 4 are are choked or muted keep that in mind don't let anything ring at the 2 and the 4 so you go there we go That's the pattern. Let's slow it down. If I count one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, and do it with the percussion as much as possible. And uh, another nice thing you can do to cap things off is explore this rhythm and pretty much all the rhythms we did in a straight fashion. and a swing time feel fashion so if you do this rhythm for example straight it's how i've been playing it so far versus if you do it swing the eighth note gets displaced a little to the right sort of like a triplet without the middle beat of the triplet ta da da ta da ta da ta swing versus ta da 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 straight and you could maintain this with the same tempo right uh there are a few questions which some people ask me should i practice with a metronome things like that i would say go with your body go with your foot move your body to the pulse it's how i practice the guitar as well as the piano so go with your own body's natural reaction to the pulse always play with the pulse then you divide it by 2 be able to divide it nicely uh, and then get your body moving in a organized and relaxed manner you don't want to get too tense so start with maybe muting all the strings 
practice all the rhythm patterns and then what you could also do is bring in one chord do it with one chord then do two chords and then you explore straight versus swing and when all of that stuff is done you could then do it with a metronome like a normal metronome to keep you in time and uh, don't forget to use this and sing along sing you can sing some of your favorite songs using these rhythm patterns so feel free to sing along and have fun with these five strumming patterns for guitar thanks again for watching the lesson all the strumming patterns are notated and available on our patreon page it'll be great if you can consider heading over there support our channel like the video give it a thumbs up leave a comment if possible that helps us move forward and i will see you in the next one cheers